It's time for Spiritual Awakening Radio, a Sant Mat Satsang podcast format today. A program titled Spiritually Awakening from the Dream and Finding Your Soul in Another World. A couple of lines of Kabir poetry. The world has fallen in love with a dream. When the mind becomes calm, then the truth is revealed. Carl Jung once said, Who looks outside dreams. Who looks inside awakens. This is from Carlos Santana, who has been on some kind of spiritual path for many years, not sure the details of it, but definitely on some kind of spiritual path, the musician Carlos Santana. I am free because I am not of the body. I am free because I am not the body. I am free because I am the soul bird that flies in infinity's sky. I am the soul child that dreams on the lap of the immortal king, supreme Carlos Santana. Who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakens. Spiritually awakening from the dream and finding your soul in another world. The following is from the Gospel of Truth by Valentinus of Alexandria, one of the many texts of the Nag Hammadi Library of Egypt. The Dream Sequence. Either they are fleeing somewhere, or they lack strength to escape when pursued. They are involved in inflicting blows, or they themselves receive bruises. They are falling from high places, or they fly through the air with no wings at all. Other times, it is as if certain people were trying to kill them even though there is no one pursuing them, or they themselves are killing those beside them, and they are stained by their blood. Until the moment when they who are passing through all these things, I mean they who have experienced all these confusions, awaken, then see nothing, because the dreams were nothing. It is thus that they who cast ignorance from them like sleep do not consider it to be anything, nor regard its properties to be something real. But they renounce them like a dream in the night, and they consider the knowledge of the Father to be the dawn. It is thus that each one has acted as if asleep during the time of ignorance, And thus a person comes to understand, as if awakening, and happy is the one who comes to himself and awakens. Valentinus, Gospel of Truth, the dream sequence, waking from the dreams and nightmares of humanity. This is from the Strobeian Hermetica, published in the book Hermetica, Volume 2, The Scattered Fragments and Testimonies Regarding the Thrice Great Hermes Trismegistus. It is difficult to understand God. Even for the person who can understand, to speak of God is impossible. After all, it is impossible to signify with a body what has no body. Likewise, the perfect cannot be comprehended by the imperfect. Moreover, it is grievous for the eternal to have fellowship with the ephemeral. The former lasts forever while the latter passes away. The one is in truth while the other is surrounded by appearances. The weaker stands apart from the stronger and the lesser from the greater. 
as much as the mortal is distant from the divine. The intervening distance dims the vision of the beautiful. Bodies are seen by eyes, and sights are spoken by the tongue. But what is bodiless? What is bodiless, invisible, without shape, and not consisting of matter, cannot be grasped by our senses. I have this insight, taught. I have this insight. What cannot be expressed, this is God. An excerpt from a discourse of Hermes with Tot, his disciple, from the Strobean Hermetica, published in the book Hermetica II. Often in the Corpus Hermeticum, the physical body is described as being something that blocks our vision, obscures the soul, is an overcast sky, making visions of heaven rather difficult. So according to the masters, we must rise above body consciousness via meditation in order to see, in order to hear spiritually in order to perceive correctly, to transcend our limited state. Kirpal Singh from the book Morning Talks, Know Thyself, You Must Rise Above Body Consciousness. You must rise above the cage of the soul. You must rise above body consciousness via meditation. He says, after rising above the physical body, you will have self-awareness. When you rise above the astral and causal bodies, you will come into your true I-hood. You will see that I and my Father are one. The whole thing depends on the concentration of your attention within yourself. Then, whichever way you direct your attention, you will work wonders. Paul saying, you must rise above body consciousness. A verse from Baba Somanov. Oh my mind, why have you forgotten the reality? Understand that this world is just a dream. O oh my mind, why have you forgotten the reality? Understand that this world is just a dream. You come suffering and depart, suffering. You don't know happiness even for a moment. You come suffering and depart, suffering. You don't know happiness even for a moment. Practicing so much trickery and deceit, you amassed a lot of wealth. But still, not one penny will go with you at your end time. Seeing your dead body, your son, your wife, your brothers, even your mother and father all run away, practicing so much trickery and deceit, you amassed a lot of wealth. But still, not one penny will go with you at your end time. This world is an illusion. Never understand it as real. The angels of death will beat you and throw you in chains. You indulged in the sense pleasures and earned bitter suffering. But nothing goes with you when you leave this world. Everything is left behind, just like the snake sheds its skin. This world, or samsara, is an illusion. Never understand it as real. The angels of death, or Yama, will beat you and throw you in chains. You indulged in the sense pleasures and earned bitter suffering. 
Have love for the Master and contemplate on Him in your heart. Meditate on Sat Nam and rise within just like ascending a staircase. Listen to the music of the Shabbat. Hearing it, the mind becomes paralyzed. Ascend on the lifeline of the Nam, just like a spider climbs up the thread. Have love or prem for the Guru and contemplate or do dhyan on him in your heart. Meditate, do bhajan on satnam, and rise within just like ascending a staircase. Listen to the music, listen to the dun of the shabad, hearing it, the mind becomes paralyzed. Ascend on the lifeline of the nam, just like a spider climbs up the thread, says Baba Somanath. Practice the method of Sant Mat. Subdue maya or illusion. Become free of desire. Somanath says, obey the teaching of the master and merge into the highest state. Practice the method of Sant Mat. Subdue maya. Become free of desire. Somanath says, obey the teaching of the guru and merge into the highest state or Sat Pad. says Huzur Baba Sawan Singh, dreams are impressions of our activities in the waking state. But in both conditions, the dream state and the waking state, man's soul or spirit is imprisoned in the dark material universe. This universe is a huge prison house, which may be called a labyrinth, for it contains thousands of doors that are so confusingly indistinguishable that one can never get out of it once one gets inside. Labyrinths or mazes of this type were popular during Mughal times in India, and Lucknow and Agra still have such buildings. But the one in which man is lost is the vast labyrinth of 84, in which he keeps moving age after age, from birth to birth and death to death. It is only after countless wanderings that one at last gains the human form, the gate to God. Baba Sawan Singh Ji Swami Ji Maharaj from the Sarbachan Radhaswami poetry. This whole play is but a one-night dream, and I have now woken you up. Swamiji says, this whole play is but a one-night dream, and I have now woken you up. Spiritually awakening from the dream and finding your soul in another world today on this Sant Mat Satsang podcast edition of Spiritual Awakening Radio. Says Kabir, this world is like a dream. Understand, O mind, nothing here is our own. Kirpal Singh, God created man. He is an ensouled body. Soul is the essence of God. The same soul is enlivening each one of us. It is a drop of the ocean of all consciousness, but unfortunately our spirit is identified with the body at the sensual plane, so much so that we have lost our identity. The life we have spent so far looks like a dream. At the end of time, at the time of death, when the soul leaves the body, our past actions would be like a sleeping vision. So Kabir says that the whole world is like a dream. Whatever we see around us appears to be something true or unchangeable. What is the reason for this? It is because we are living in the realm of relativity, where everything is constantly changing. When two things are changing at the same speed, they appear to be stationary with respect to each other. 
from the body level we cannot comprehend this change. What a grand delusion! But one who has developed inner vision by transcending the body, limitations, can clearly see that matter is changing every moment. This world is like a mirage in the desert. Whatever we see in the dream may seem to be true at the moment, but when the eye opens, all is gone. One feels the same when the hour of death approaches, but awakening at that time is absolutely of no avail, as the time has run out. Secondly, we have to see that nothing shall accompany us from here. By the term us, we do not mean the material body, but our very self, which is a conscious entity. So, awakened souls always draw our attention to the fact that we are being deceived. If at all there is anything true or eternal, it is either soul or the oversoul, says Sant Kripal Singh. Oversoul is a term he used for the Supreme Being or God. Oversoul. Swami G. Maharaj once said, This life that is given to us is like a dream. Don't get lost in this delusion. Baba Ram Singh For the Mahatmas, they appreciate that this life is also like a dream, just like we have a dream when we sleep at night. It could be for half an hour, it could be for one hour. When we wake up, we realize that is just a dream. There is nothing to it. It is the same thing with this life. This is a 70-year-old dream. It could be 70, 80, depending on your life, but that's the dream you are in. So this life is nothing but a dream. If we look back and we see our elders, we see our grandfather and think about him, he's nothing but a dream for us. The time that he has come and gone, it is no more than a dream to us. Like that, we will also be a dream to people and our children and their children. They completely forget us. So therefore, Mahatmas say, we have to make the most of this opportunity. It is like a dream, but in this, we have to use it and spend the time towards spirituality and try to make something out of this, says Baba Ram Singh. The following is about spiritual dreams and satsang in the dream state. Your spiritual master can visit you in your dreams, and those are very special dreams that seem sacred, different, not an ordinary kind of dream. They feel pure, not your typical dream state. This is a reading from Sri Bhagavath Baba, a spiritual discourse of Sri Bhagavath Baba. Just before retiring in the evening, the practitioner should sit in meditation for two to four minutes and then get ready to go to sleep. A practitioner can continue manas jap or simran, or manas dhyan meditation, keeping his or her vision focused inside with closed eyes lying in bed. This practice protects one from terrible, unpleasant dreams. And on the other hand, the practitioner can be benefited with the appearance of sages or saints, or satsang in the dream state. The appearance of saints in the dream state is an indication of spiritual progress says Sri Bhagavad Baba. Meditate as you go to sleep. Spiritualize your dreams. Sometimes you can have satsang in the dream state, as well as protection, divine grace going on.
Through contemplative meditation, we can access another world. If thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light, says Jesus. The Gospel of Thomas' parallel version is, if we are divided, we are full of darkness, but if we are whole, we will see light, we will access the light. Singleness of vision, a new kind of seeing, to access the unseen realm, the new world, the kingdom of God, kingdom of the heavens. As Joseph the visionary, a Syriac mystic, once said, thus as a result of recollecting all these things, the impulses of the mind are extended from the sphere of material things towards those impulses which are without limit. That is to say, wonder at the new world and the faculty of vision which belongs to contemplation of God. For when the vision of the mind is mingled with the light, all its impulses become infinite. For none of the visionaries or Gnostics is able to distinguish the identity of the mind as a result of the vision of that glorious light that is seen. For all the innermost chambers of the heart are filled by that blessed light. Joseph the Visionary Syriac Mystic, quoted in the book The Syriac Fathers on Prayer and the Spiritual Life. Wrapping up today's edition of Spiritual Awakening Radio, the Sant Mat Satsang Podcast. A couple of quotes we'll hear from Kabir. But first, this is Psalm 6. I specialize in apocryphal writing sometimes. Lost Gospels, unknown sayings of Jesus and other mystics. This is from the book, The Psalms of Solomon a collection of Hebrew psalms composed sometime during the first century B.C., an apocryphal scripture floating around that not too many people know about. This is called In Hope, Psalm 6 from the Psalms of Solomon. Happy is the one whose heart is prepared to call upon the name of the Lord. When they remember the name of the Lord, they will be saved. Their ways are guided by the Lord, and the works of their hands are protected by the Lord their God. And their souls shall not be disturbed by the sight of evil dreams. When they cross rivers and when the seas toss, they will not be dismayed. For they rose from their sleep and praised the name of the Lord. In the quietness of their hearts, they praised the name of their God. And they entreated the Lord for all their household. The Lord grants every request of the soul that hopes upon him. Blessed is the Lord who acts compassionately towards those who love him in truth. And finally, this is from Guru Kabir. Says Kabir, If I sleep, I meet him in my dreams. When awake, I see him in my heart, my inner eye opened at such a happy hour that my beloved Lord is never out of my sight.
Thank you.